How you guys doing? Welcome. This is Indoor Hydroponics and I am John, your Indoor Hydroponics stinking filthy test dummy. How you guys doing? Hey, welcome inside my spare bedroom. This is a nice little setup I got going on right here. I shut down my big grow room for the summer. I got a nice set it and forget it type of method here. Um, so first off, let me preempt this video by saying I apologize for the lighting. It's I, I probably come across as dark, right? Um, maybe I look like I got a nice tan or something like that, right? And also the because it's in the in an enclosed room in the basement, it uh, the sound is probably bad. I kind of sound like I'm echoing a little bit. So apologize for that. However, I am going to be shooting my summer videos for the most part in this room, even though I do have a couple of other neat tricks up my sleeve. Okay. Um, what do I got going on in here right now? I have some strawberries and lettuce going right now. And what am I gonna do today? Well. I'm going to start a new grow and I see a lot of people growing it, right? And I'm real geeked about it because I've never grown it, okay? And what am I talking about? Pak choy. Yeah. What is that? That's an Asian green if you've never eaten it. And it actually it's an Asian cabbage, okay? And it's got these celery stalk type uh, stalks coming up and then it's got the leafy green foliage up top. And a lot of people will cut that up and put the greens in salad or they'll cut up the stalks in bite sized pieces and cut up this and they'll put it in stir fry, okay? So that's probably what I'm going to do with it. Now it's a really, really cool looking plant, right? And according to the seed package, uh, it is a spring, fall type of a plant, so it's a cool season crop, okay? So uh, I'm going to talk about uh, starting these seeds today and trying to get a good germination out of them. Maturity, 30 to 45 days. I like that. That's This thing, is it's it, gr it grows way bigger than a lettuce, and it, gr and it takes almost less time to grow. So I'm liking that, man. I, I could potentially have mature plants in 30 days. So if today is April 28th and I sink the seeds in today, potentially May 28th, I could have full-size uh, pak choy going on here, man. So let's go over to the table. Let's start some seeds. All right. So we're at the table. I got a little zoom in here. Here's some uh, nice little strawberries kicking in. I got some nice little lettuce kicking in right here, right? And set right in the middle of the table, I have... 10 grow cubes, okay? And these are eventually going to be slotted into these eight holes, okay? These eight uh, where these lettuce are. Now, I start off with two extras just in case, okay? So I will put a seed or two in each one of these rock wool cubes, okay? Um, to start the germination process. And obviously, they're going to be growing. This is going to be the support and the stabilization of the plant while it's growing. Now, uh, like I say, I'm going to grow two extra because every once in a while you'll get one that won't uh, germinate and then you, or else you'll have one that's a real runt plant. So what I do is, is I'll do ten uh, for an eight head grow and I will pick the eight strongest plants, okay? So uh, that way I, I don't have a gap in my board here, all right? Now, uh, what have I done to get to this point? Simple. I've explained it before, but I'll quick do it again. Uh, about a gallon of water, half a lemon squeezed in there, right, to bring the acidity down. Put your rock oil cubes in there, let them soak for a minute or two, a few seconds, five seconds, whatever you got type of thing. Make sure they get good and soaked. Take them out, don't squeeze them, leave them wet. And then you put them in this little apparatus. And guys, this is a reason to go to the bakery, okay? Go to your grocery store bakery and get yourself a cheese danish that's right this is a cheese danish container and it also makes a perfect humidity dome for starting seeds look at that it snaps right into place like that it's perfect so i like starting lettuce off in this particular thing and it's a reusable thing type of thing right and we like cheese danishes around here we eat healthy around here but we also indulge so I got this little dude holding up the top for me so it doesn't fall back and crush my lettuce behind it, okay? So what I'm going to do is take some of these bok choy seeds. Love that. I got like this. I don't know if you can see that. Probably can't with the lighting, but they look like a cabbage seed, okay? Just uh, tiny little black pellets, right? And so I'm going to just... And maybe I'll do something fun and speed this up on the camera, so... Operation speed up start now. 
done. Okay guys, so I've got these planted out now. I am also going to get some sort of a utensil here to kind of press the um, seeds into place. I want to get them down in there a little bit. Um, so bear with me. Okay guys, so what did I have available downstairs? Because my lazy butt doesn't want to walk upstairs is I have a paintbrush. Okay, so just a little tiny paintbrush and what I'm going to do is just make sure those seeds are, are in place on the bottom up down here. Some people, when they're planting out their rack wool cubes, will close the hole a little bit to provide some darkness. You know, I don't do it. You can do it. I just don't want anything inhibiting the growth, right? I don't want it to have to, the leaves and the plant having to push through the rock wool. But that's just personal preference. If people do it, that means it's probably working for them too. So do what you want. I leave the holes open, all right? What am I going to do? I'm going to flip that top like that. And now we have to go down under. All right, we are down under. And by down under, I mean we are down under the cracky table, okay? And so this is what I call my little seed staging area, okay? Got a little two-foot fluorescent uh, bulb here, T5. Uh, very low in energy, so I like that, which means it doesn't cost very much to operate. Over here, I have uh, 12 little tomatoes that I planted out yesterday. Uh, I put in the seeds yesterday and they're sitting on a heat mat, right? Tomatoes, warm season crop, requires a little bit of heat for successful germination. So that's why I put that there, okay? Over here is our bok choy. This is a cool season plant, so it probably would not benefit from the heat mat, right? Grows in the spring, grows in the fall, that's when it grows the best. That's when the seeds would germinate in nature. So, why in the heck would I pro provide heat to that? I'm not. The only thing I'm going to provide for this is the light. And the reason I want to provide the light is because as soon as these things break the surface, I want them hitting light. So I want good, strong uh, seedlings. A good, strong seedling leads to a good, strong plant, okay? So today, again, is April 28th, 2014. And the next time you see me, we'll do a 30-day update on May 28th, 2014. So let's go ahead to the future. How you guys doing? Sorry about uh, the lighting here. I probably have, uh, you probably can't even see my face. However, it's been 30 to 40 days-ish since I put this uh, pak choy in the uh, floating raft, cracky kind of setup with some aeration in it. And uh, they are just booming, man. They come out with these crinkly leaves and as the leaves grow up, they flatten out and it looks, it's, it's fantastic. Now, I had eight, eight heads of these planted in here, and uh, they are just blowing up. Um, I changed out some of my lighting since uh, the time that I planted the seeds. What I have going on here is a 400 light uh, high-pressure sodium bulb going. I have it running at 18 hours a day right now. Um, and the reason is, is for my strawberry grow right here. And I wanted to give them this type of uh, light, lighting spectrum to induce blooming over here. Um, and I'll do another video on my uh, strawberry update soon, but I just wanted to do a quick update on this um, Pak Choy and it is just fantastic. Like I said, there was eight heads here. However, uh, there's only seven left because we ate one last night, chopped it up, put it in a stir fry, and it's amazing. Listen, raw, it has a, a cross between cabbage and spinach and it's just absolutely fantastic. I've never grown it before. This is the first time I've ever grown it. I've seen some videos. Mr. King Star out here had a fantastic grow. Uh, so go check out his channel. He has a, a multi-part update on how to grow pak choy and he does it just solely cracky style. I have a little bit more going on here so his is a little bit uh, more of a cheaper method but he got I almost would dare say better results than I did. However, this is this is I'm real happy with this grow here, guys. So, uh, like I say, this is about 30 to 40 days from transplant from seedling, and uh, we're gonna start mowing down on this. Uh, like I said, I already got one out of here, so um, I'll get behind the camera, give you a little close up on it. Okay, guys. So again, I apologize for this lighting spectrum. It's gonna give off this yellowish type hue, but really these things are just a vivid green. Uh, like I say, they come out with this crinkly leaf right here, and then after a little while, after they get mature size, they flatten out like this, and it's really cool. Um, but like I say, they've got these really thick stems here um, that you uh, 
can chop up. Um, you put those in the stir fry first, get them kind of uh, softened, and then you uh, put the leaves in afterwards because those don't take very long to cook at all. You can also eat them raw, put them in a, a salad type of thing. Like I say, if you're a spinach fan, man, it's it's pretty close to spinach, only just with these huge, huge leaves, man. It's awesome. So they are digging this light, uh, and they are also. Uh, digging this environment here so I'm real geeked about this so again that's Pak Choi and uh, thanks for tuning in guys I'm going to start up a new grow uh, I'm going to start eating this up start a uh, different type of lettuce and uh, see what we can uh, gobble out of this thing so thanks for watching guys peace